What's up, YouTube? So I wanted to make a video. This video is going to go on both channels, okay? Uh, for those of you that are not aware, I have a, a channel with about 2,000 subscribers or near to it. And I have a channel with almost 12,000 subscribers that I've been running for years. And I don't really like to cross the streams and pump the one channel on the other channel and vice versa, okay? For reasons. <laughs> uh, one of which is I, I want them to both go on their own merits, you know what I mean? Uh, but I want to uh, talk today about the van life thing. And I want to bring your attention to the fact that I have created another YouTube channel called The Road to Van Life. I'm going to put the link down in the description below, and I am going to cross the streams on this channel. Because so I've talked quite a bit on both of these channels about my plans to possibly do van life and probably, probably do van life at this point. Uh, so it's The Road to Van Life. I'll put the link down in the description. If you want, subscribe. Help me start building that channel up. Uh, and obviously, if you want to, track my progress and stuff i'm sure i'll talk about it here and there on, on my other channels but that channel specifically to talk about you know my journey toward doing van life and you know the build will be on there eventually and you know then it'll be a chronicle of the things that i do on the road so i've had people i've had people say oh man that's awesome that you're doing van life and i've heard, had people say man that's a horrible idea don't do that you know <clears throat> just recently uh, i had somebody comment saying hey man you know as you get old that's not going to be the thing you know what i mean like uh you need a place and you need somewhere to be and, and stuff like that and so i, I want to talk about my thought process uh now so it, when i first started like saving and investing in the stock market and stuff a couple of years ago it was all geared toward that it was geared toward having a place to be when i get old and i you know and i can't drive anymore and and whatnot and so uh some of you probably know that uh i don't know it was about a year ago or something uh there was all this stuff surrounding a house that i own a portion of in the town I was born in, and it's in Long Beach, Mississippi, and I was born in Gulfport, which is all right there. So, uh, I own a portion of that house, all right? My aunt also owns a portion of that house, and she currently lives there, okay? Also, my mother and my sister own portions, and my cousin owns portions, okay? So, we all own a portion of this house. Well, my aunt, who lives there now, you know, we were talking, and she was like, you can come here anytime you want. You know, this is your house, too, and you're welcome here. And, you know, I was going to go through this whole process of, like, buying everybody out and stuff so that eventually that could be my house to die in or whatever. You know, a place to be in this, you know, when I get old. Uh, but, I mean, the only wild card in the situation at this point is my cousin, okay? Okay. <clears throat> now he's given me a price that he would let me buy him out for and my mom and my sister like and my aunt they're all just basically like hey you know just go move in there you know eventually you know it'll get sold one of these days or whatever and you know just just go move in there when you're ready so that's the plan i have a plan of a place to be already that's why my thought process started shifting toward all this other stuff because i feel confident in the fact that when the time comes i have some place to go all right my aunt's like in her early to mid 60s she she's still got you know she she doesn't think so but she's still got a good eight ten years in her you know uh so i've got time before that's something that i need to think about now you know, obviously, I already live in this tiny fashion right now, you know, in a space that's smaller than a van. And so the actual living in a van is is not going to be hard for me, you know. And I know how to build things, 
you know, I know how to build and create and I'm, I'm creative and I'm good with my hands. So I can build it. I can do it all myself. So the idea behind this is that, you know, I have <clears throat> from my big YouTube channel, people all over the country and really all over the world who watch my videos and listen to my music and all this other stuff and have been for years and years and I'm a member of a fraternal organization some of you know what that is and uh, so I have people all over the US and I want to spend some time traveling around seeing these people seeing people that I only see at big events or people that I've been connected to for years and years and have never met in person and I want to see the country in a way that I'm not allowed to I'm not able to see it now like now, sure, I'm all over the place, but I'm in the truck stops and stuff. Like, I don't get to do anything or see anything cool. So this van life thing is going to give me an opportunity to do all these things and take be free some of the time. The idea is that, you know, I'm going to save enough. I'm, once I get the build done, okay, now that's, I'm giving myself two years, a year to get the van and start doing the build and another year to save up enough money to take a year off and that's my plan my plan is to get a van and have it built out and save enough money to take a year off i'm thinking i can do it with 20 grand plus you know a five six thousand dollar emergency fund for repairs and stuff i'm thinking for about 25 grand I should be able to take a year off. Then at the end of that year, I'll come back to this same company and drive and save some more. And at that time, after that year, I mean, if I stay out for a full year, who knows, I might hate it, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy it. Uh, at the end of that year, I can come back and then make a decision. Am I gonna work and save up enough to take another year off? Am I gonna work for longer than that? Am I going to give up on van life and sell the van that I've built? Who knows? Who knows where things are going to lead me? But what I do know is that I want to enjoy as much of life as I can now before I am so old that I can't do it. Because, you know, the fact of the matter is that is that I am not going to have time to save enough money to have some glorious retirement okay so i'm gonna live life as much as i can now i'm gonna grab just as much freedom as i can grab now all right because this ain't it guys this ain't it i mean even if i i mean i could go home more often than i do but if i did like, I'd just be messing up my pay and everything by taking too much time off and it splits paychecks up and stuff. I want to, I like the way I do things now. You know, I stay out six weeks, go home for, you know, less than a week and go back out for six weeks because it allows me to stack all this money. And so that's the plan. The plan is to stack money, still keep investing in my Roth, cut down on some of my other investments unless I see opportunities that I think are going to allow me to uh, are going to help me with the van life thing and then build a van, I'm going to buy a van I'm going to build it out how I'm going to do it exactly is yet to be determined I'm probably going to end up buying an older van for really cheap and then spending the money Instead of spending it on a van that has 100,000 miles on it, I'm going to spend it on an older van, and then I'm going to have a new engine, transmission, suspension put in it so that it is new. And, you know, I know exactly what I've gotten, exactly what kind of maintenance has been done on it. You know what I mean? And so there's less, less uh, potential problems that could arise while I'm on the road. If I do that, then I know that that five or six grand is going to get me through with whatever minor repairs I need to do out on the road. If I get something with a hundred plus thousand miles on it, I could blow an engine. I could lose a transmission. You know what I mean? And that's a major expense. So 
right now that's where my head's at but i just wanted to talk about it talk about what my thought process is because i get people that are like yeah that's awesome and i also get a lot of people that are like man i don't think that's a good idea you know what i mean and at the end of the day doesn't really matter what y'all think i mean you know not that i don't value y'all's opinion okay but in the end i'm going to do what i think is going to give me fulfillment and enjoyment and uh let me you know pursue my will you know what i mean i what i want and uh that's what it is and if you want to join me and you want to follow me on this progression toward it and you know see everything that happens you know what i mean hit that subscribe button on that new channel the link is going to be in the description below help me build it up help me get something going over there <coughs> content will be slow coming out but you know come along with me on the journey you know a lot of you guys have been watching my journey for years. So come along with me. Go subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being around for all this time. See you on the next one.